Welcome to Piemonte, home of world famous wines, truffles the size of your fist, stunning landscapes, and now us. During the pandemic, we decided to sell our apartment in Stockholm and move to Italy in search of our dream house. Just a short drive from the Ligurian coast and the buzzing city life of Milan, Langer in Piemonte was the perfect place for us to start our Italian adventure. In December 2021, we got the keys to our abandoned farmhouse and now in early 2022 have begun renovating. Follow our journey and progress as we restore this 100-year-old rustico into our dream home. Again? Yeah. Hi, and welcome to our Italian dream house. You're back at it. Uh, reluctantly, but the rest of the progress in the house means that I need to finish this wall. And... <laughs> It's been resting for a few weeks. Oh yeah, a month or so. So let's see if I remember how to do it or if I can do a good job. A few moments later. Very tired just finished plastering this wall and I picked up a few tips off of the guys and I have to say it's about a million times better than my first attempt. It's still not perfect but it's good enough for me and I'm pretty happy with the outcome actually so I don't think I'll do any more walls in the future but I finally finished this one so I'm happy. Our builders Fabrizio, Enzo, Ale and Alessandro were back on site this week and they continued work at a rapid rate which we were exceptionally happy to see and things are really moving forward.
in like a hurricane or something. I was sat up, it started like in a bit of thunderstorm and I put the cushions in, but I even left like one set of cushions and I was sat under the umbrella. I'm like, oh, it's just gonna drip a bit. And then it got mega windy and we just had to try to secure the whole house and uh, it wasn't very easy. So have a look about, I'd like have a look at what actually happened. Your bottle got blown all the way across the... And that is like 10 kilos. Got blown all the way across and smashed. But I mean, just the fact that we had a small pool in our bedroom seemed to be fine because our neighbor's roof tile flew off and hit the windscreen on the car, which is completely cracked. Yeah, a lot of the neighbor's roof tiles came off. Let's see if we can see that now. So your nice new terrace is going to need a little bit of... Yeah, I'm also worried about my nice new slippers. Sprucing up again. It's just stuff. It's just stuff. Exactly. I'm Six more worried about the bedroom floor. Yeah. The only floor we decided to keep. It was literally this much water on it. Mm. Just out doing some damage assessment after the storm and can say it's not looking good for a lot of our trees. Let's have a look. The, the fig tree got blown down. So it's all down. The pomegranate tree seems to have survived but it's wonkier than before. Um, so it's a shame that the fig tree blew down because it was our tallest tree actually. It had really grown up above the rest. So it's completely down, covering the path. I think maybe another tree came down. So I better go down in the land as well and check the apple trees. Because we, uh, the neighbor was saying that it was over 90 kilometer hour winds. So it was, I think it was pretty close to a hurricane. Hurricane strength winds, let's say, not a full on hurricane. That's over exaggeration. Everything seems to be coming together at the last minute, which is great. So we have the plumber here right now running all the tubes for the radiators and the sinks, toilets, everything actually, all the pipes. Um, so that's really great. And then the builders are gonna arrive in an hour or so and plaster in all the tubes, pour the last concrete and finish up their work. Um, so it's really cool. It's really exciting. Today is a big day. turned out that the plumber didn't quite finish so the builders weren't able to pour the concrete in the floor because the toilet tube has to run under that floor um, and he hasn't finished that yet. You can see it here behind me it's still in, still in pieces um, so fingers crossed that he comes in the next day or so finishes up that and then the builders can finish up with the floors because as soon as the floor's done, they can plaster the walls um, and then we can start putting our floor tiles down and after that we can build our kitchen units. 
So things should start going much faster as soon as the floor is poured, basically. That's sort of the, um, the bottleneck of the project at the minute. So fingers crossed for the plumber to come and finish the black water pipe from the toilet. So just when we thought that we couldn't get any more bad news, we found out that our outer wall is somehow like structurally unsafe. And this is a massive disaster. But more about that in next week's video. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notifications button. And also if you want to follow our journey in a bit faster pace, make sure to visit our Instagram account under our Italian Greenhouse.